Hey everyone, I just wanted to take a few minutes to share with you what's in my heart today. I was praying for each of you in Web Church, and our Father knows everything that you're thinking and feeling. He knows what you're facing. And as I was praying for you, I felt to share um, the prayer that I feel my Father gave for you all in my heart. And um, I know he laid this beautiful scripture on my heart to share with you and encourage you. And it's from the Message Bible. It's from Ephesians 5 in the Message Bible. And he's talking to husbands and wives here. And he is telling them, the husband, to love your wife as Christ first loves the church. Because we only love him or love others because he first loves us. So he goes on to say, Christ's love makes the church whole. His words evoke her beauty. Everything he does and says is designed to bring out the best of her, dressing her in dazzling white silk, radiant with holiness. And this is who you are, church. You are dressed in beautiful white silk. You are radiant with the holiness and the glory of God. And this is everything that our Father has done for us by the finished work of Jesus Christ. He has made you now innocent and holy and righteous. And we can come to our Father knowing how innocent we are. And when I was speaking to our Father about innocence, I said, show me, Lord. And he brought me to the Word. He brought me to Romans 5 where he says that we have been justified by faith. And I looked up the word justified, and in the Greek, this is what justified means. It's awesome. He says, to render, to show regard, just or innocent. Innocent, free, justify, be righteous. So that is what Jesus has done for us. He has made us innocent, and I needed more from that. I said, Father, show me what innocence means. And he gave me a beautiful picture of me holding a baby lamb. And he spoke to my heart, and he said, Dawn, do you think this lamb has any concept of guilt, of hurt, hurting others, of an evil conscience? And I said, no, Father, that lamb is completely, completely innocent. And he said, that is what you are. And a lamb in the Old Testament was just a shadow of Jesus Christ, a foreshadow of what Jesus is. So how much more are we innocent today because of Jesus' finished work? And it's that innocence that allows us to come boldly to the throne of grace. So as I was praying for you, this was my prayer, that you would know that you are one with the Trinity, that there is no indebtedness in the throne room, that there is a chair of you, of Jesus, our Father, and the Holy Spirit, and you are all equals. There is no indebtedness. I'm not saying that we're God, but I am saying that we have been made joint heirs with Jesus Christ, that everything Jesus is, so are we, that he was the firstborn son of many. And you, church, are those sons. You are those daughters. And he has dressed you in this dazzling robe of radiance, of holiness, and that my prayer for you is that you would feel as innocent and as righteous and as clean as you are, because that is what he has done for me. And I was also praying, and he just gave me this beautiful picture, and I'm just thanking our Father now that you just feel to crawl up into the lap of your daddy God, that you just feel to crawl up into his lap and you nestle in his arms and you have him hold you and hug you and tell you the wonderful things that he thinks of you. And as you are in his arms, as you are in our Father's lap, that you would feel as loved and as safe and secure and as clean and as innocent and as holy and as righteous as that Jesus Christ has made you. That is who you are. And that is my prayer for you today, that you will feel as loved and as innocent as you are and that more and more that you will just come boldly to the throne of grace to receive receive all our father thinks of you and feels for you and i'm just thanking our father that he speaks this to your heart that it goes down deep and it becomes revelation real for you of your innocence in jesus and that everything that he has done for us in christ that you'll receive it that you'll receive it and i always pray this daily for you all that father that i will know you as you have always known me and he has always known me 
after Jesus Christ finished work. And that is my prayer for all of you, that Father, each and everyone watching this will know you, intimately know you as you have always known us. And that is innocent and that is loved and that's holy and righteous and desired and accepted. And I just thank you, Father, that you are relentlessly working in each and everyone's hearts to make that real for them and that it will just become the truth. It will become just you'll be so conscious of it that I am innocent and you'll feel it. You'll feel clean. You'll feel holy. You'll feel loved. And just more and more that you will feel as loved and as wanted and as clean and as innocent and as holy and as righteous as you are. So I'm just thanking my father that he makes that revelation real for each of you today. Thank you. Thanks for listening. That was my prayer. That was my chat with the Trinity earlier. So I pray that you have a family meeting and just hear all the wonderful things that our Father thinks of you and that he will produce his very life in you when he makes them revelation real for you. And he's always convincing you. He's always willing you. He's always pursuing you. And I'm thanking my Father, our Father, for making it real for you. Thank you all. Please know you're loved and prayed for, and we care about you, and we're so grateful that you're all here in Web Church. Thank you so much. Have a good night.